Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is Spring Application Context. In a Spring based application, your application objects will live within the Spring container. Okay, so Spring, uh, Spring Application Context is like a container, it's going to create the objects and it is going to manage the objects okay the container will create the objects wire them together in the sense if there are any dependencies it will resolve those dependencies and it will attach to the object and it will configure them means from the xml file or if you have annotations it will configure them properly and and it will also manage their complete life cycle like whenever like a normal java object whenever you use a new operator you will create an object okay and if it goes out of the scope or you mark it as a null it will be garbage collected so like that the objects which are living inside the spring container are managed by the spring container okay it has it has its life's own life cycle from the creation to the destroy method okay the application context in spring the application context is springs more advanced container similar to bean factory so before application context there was a bean factory which does the same functionality but uh, less features compared to application context similar to bean factory the application can application context can load bean definitions wire them together and dispense beans upon request so the container manages the the objects okay and whenever you request something some request for some beans it will dispense those beans to you okay it, it adds more enterprise specific functionality such as the ability to resolve textual messages from the property file so not only that application context manages the beans life cycle but also it resolves the textual messages from the property file and the ability to publish application events to the interested event listeners so there are three functionalities it manages the uh, objects resolve the textual textual messages and it also publish the events and the most commonly used application context implementations are there are three file system xml application context class path xml application context web xml application context this container loads the definition of the beans means the opt of the different classes of the beans from a xml file here you need to provide the full path of the xml bean configuration file to the constructor class path xml application context this container loads the definition of the beans from an xml file here you do you do not need to provide the full path but you need to set the class path okay so that this container will look bean configuration file from the class path so you have to here you have to give the full path here you can set just set in the class path so that the container will find out from the class path even from the jar file okay it will find out web xml application context this container loads xml file with definitions of all beans from within a web application so if you use spring mvc or so if you are using a web application then this application context will be useful so this is a, a brief information about uh, spring application context it's a very big topic hope this video is useful for your interview preparation thank you and all the best for your interview thank you